Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video series that I'm wanting to start. Um, I've always wanted to do a little bit of a Minecraft video, or a video series, and I figured that this would be a good enough place to start. Um, now, the world that I created, I do have a specific purpose in mind with something that I'd like to accomplish, and right off the bat, I did just want to uh, survey the area, make sure that I had the kind of zone that I was looking for. And thankfully we were spawned next to the sea as that gives me a project that I'm very excited to work on, uh, which we'll see some of the prep for today, but it'll probably take a couple of episodes before that actually comes to fruition. Um, but like any good Minecraft game, we do have to go ahead and get our start with harvesting some wood so we can start making some tools to make the jobs a little bit easier. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've played, so I am a little bit rusty on my controls. Uh, but that does tend to get better as I continue and progress here. So, still mining through and, and uh, getting a couple of these trees and resources here. Checking to see how much more wood is available. Because um, I do like to kind of prioritize getting all and any wood that is available to me whenever I go through and get a tree, at least as far as I can reach. Now... You know, continuing forward, we've got to make sure we've got some planks as well as a crafting table to work with. So we're going to go ahead and build some of those here in order to make sure that we can successfully make those tools. Now, um, I was, I'm not familiar with this very new layout of the menu, so I did manually make that crafting table just a moment ago. But uh, that's sure to get better as we continue as well. So let's turn the rest of our tree into some wooden planks here and now we can go ahead and start making sticks and other things that we need for the rest of our tools. So we've got a fair collection of sticks there and now we can go ahead and reorganize our inventory a bit in order to make a couple of tools. Now the tools that you need right off the bat to really have success with doing anything are you need a shovel just to make sure that you can mine out some of your your dirt and your sand. Uh, you also need a pickaxe, of course. I always make two just in case, though really the wooden pickaxe is only good for making a stone pickaxe. Um, and then you also need to make sure that you have a sword because uh, the when you're playing survival mode like we are here, the enemies in the surrounding areas aren't uh, exactly helpful. They're, they tend to be quite hostile. And you also need them for you know uh, collecting resources or killing some animals. So this is the first part of the project that will eventually come to fruition, um, which we will need a lot of sand for. So I am gonna go ahead and make good use of this shovel and just mine out all the sand that we can because we are going to need a ton of it. And I will sequentially come back through and get more and more sand as the project comes closer and closer to being finished. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use up the entire life of this shovel just to fill up my inventory with as much sand as I possibly can. Now wooden shovels, they get the job done. Of course, some of the higher grade tools do last longer and get the work done quicker. But at the end of the day, we get what we need. So after mining out that sand, uh, of course, I need to make sure that I can get some stone tools, and I wanted to head a little bit further inland to get this, so I found this little alcove filled with some flowers, uh, collected them, because I'd like to replant them and kind of decorate a little more organized at some point. So we go ahead and clear out this tiny little basin here, and then behind this wall, I figured it was a good place to go ahead and try to find some just different resources and uh, get the stone that I need in order to start building some of my stone tools. And just so happens that as we're mining through, uh, we find a vein of coal, which I was certainly quite excited about as coal is very abundant, but you can sometimes struggle to find it right off the bat. So we're just gonna go ahead and mine through the rest of this coal vein. And I start adapting a strategy of 
trying to place the cursor right at the overlap where as soon as I'm finished mining one block, I will immediately go to the next block and not really have to waste any time with repositioning the cursor. And this ore mine was actually a very rich ore mine. It went on for, for quite a while and provided me with a fair amount of resources to, you know, start building some of the other things that I'll need in order to progress here. Um, goes back a bit further than I would have expected it to as well, which isn't bad, um, but it wasn't expected either. And of course, coal gives some menial experience points as well. And after mining out the rest of this coal, we were left with a, a pretty good little alcove, which you know we'll we'll be coming back to later as we progress through. We're just about through the rest of this vein though, um, and a pretty good vein at that because I think we end up with some you know 28 coal, maybe a little bit less, 26. Um, but it's a nice little little hole in the wall. Got to use some of this dorite, which is really good for nothing, but I made a nice little stepping stool there to get us out. Now at this point, I am recognizing that, well, night should be pretty fastly approaching and I need to be making a bed. So I go on a hunt for sheep and I eventually found one. Um, and really I was all I was concerned about is finding one because as soon as you find one, you're bound to find a few more in the surrounding area. And I did find a, a couple more which we were able to hunt down and, and get the wool off of. But at this point, it's very late in the evening. And I came over here to try and build a bed, but I f then figured, you know, it's gonna be in my best interest to just pack this up and uh, take it to someplace a little bit safer. So we grab that crafting table and we start running back to the alcove that we mined out from that coal or uh, coal vein just because that was going to be my best bet at getting something a little bit safer and out of the way so as soon as we get to our little alcove here we immediately dip back into the vein that we've mined out and then I go ahead and position some of my sand in the entryway to protect myself at least for the night give myself some needed cover and that will allow me to do some setup here without needing to worry about any enemies popping up on me. So we do get the bed created here and crafted. I crafted a couple of torches as well just to provide myself a little bit more light. And that allows us to rest and wait for daylight to come back around. So the next morning, you know, we make the opening of our little home here because we don't need to have it closed off anymore. Uh, of course, we will be building a bit of a more secure enclosure and uh, getting a door put in this area as well. Now this is a temporary housing area because we will be working on that additional project which will eventually serve as the full house. Um, but the challenge of me wanting to accomplish that of course is contingent on being able to do it in survival mode. So I went and got a little bit more dorite just because I wanted a little more uniformity in how the front of the house looked. So we've now got an entryway built a couple of cobblestone stairs and I always make this mistake of uh, putting the uh, stairs on upside down but luckily if you harvest them with a pickaxe you just get them back and you can replace them the way that you actually need them to be and so we make sure that we've got enough walking room overhead to actually make use of these stairs and now that we've got some doors we'll go ahead and you know, make a door to the front part of our living which uh, is nice because now you don't have to worry about uh, people walking in on you. So I got a couple more things that I've got to go have a look in at. Uh, when I get so startled by the spider, I accidentally click over into third person mode uh, and get the beast slain. But uh, that certainly takes away more of my health than I was expecting to use. So the next uh, part of the or chapter of the adventure did have to be placed on hold a little bit. So needed to collect a little bit more stone in order to get a, forna, a furnace made. And with that, uh, I did want to just hollow out a little bit more space just around this place as it will be our temporary lodging until we find you know, a better location or are able to build our better location here. So 
Over here at the crafting table, we can now finally outfit ourselves with a couple of stone tools with a furnace, and that certainly is pretty useful. And make a couple more torches here, I believe. Fill out the rest of our inventory with some more weaponry, just because the stone stuff does tend to last a little bit longer and is quite a bit more useful. So I do need to regain some health, so I'll go ahead and place this furnace down and then cook up some of the mutton that we've collected from the sheep that we got the wool off of earlier. Now with the mutton all cooked, we do go ahead and you know collect that, eat some up to restore some of our health. Of course, your hunger gauge needs to be replenished first, and then you can slowly see the hearts increasing as you come back. And with that, we are ready to continue our adventure into the outside world. We'll go ahead and use up the rest of our staircases here uh, to make exiting this pit a little bit easier. And that uh, will do it for the first part of this series. Of course, we'll be building some more sophisticated stuff and progressing through the world as we continue. Well, thanks again for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you are enjoying the content that I'm producing, feel free to subscribe and slap a like on the video, comment, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And we will catch you in the next one. Until then, I'm going to mine out the rest of this coal, and we'll see you next Saturday with the next chapter here.